Hi everybody, I'm Melissa. This is month 23 with your toddler and with my toddler, Bracey. How much should my 23 month old be talking? Experts say that toddlers this age have around 50 to 100 words. None of my kids had anywhere near this range of words and there's a huge range of normal. Try to look for changes, developments in your toddler's speech. Bracey continues to say, moon, moon. animal sounds, he started to say, mommy. mommy. I wouldn't say that he has anywhere near 50 words, but his vocabulary is increasing. I have heard him start to say two syllable versions of his siblings' names, like Marel for Marielle. Marielle, yes. <laughs> Many toddlers at this age are linking together two words. Most toddlers this age can respond to pretty basic commands, such as get that ball and bring it to me bring me those socks and those shoes, things like that. Some resources say that you should be understanding 50% of what your toddler says, but I would say that I understand about 20% of what Bracey says, and my physician has told me that he's the on track, so keep that in mind. How can I encourage my toddler to talk? Keep engaging in very language-rich activities, playing with blocks, reading, singing, what's his name? talking about body parts, talking about categories, make language a really big part of your interaction with your child. You can incorporate it into any activity that you do with your child. The more words they hear, the better. Try not to give an iPhone, an iPad, or to put your toddler down in front of the TV. At this point, some sources say you can do it, but if you can, better to avoid it altogether. Books are the best. When your toddler does something and looks back at you with a smile, trying to gauge your reaction, wanting to, to see what they're doing, this is actually a really important stage of their emotional development. They're realizing that when they're able to perform a certain task, that you are going to appreciate the fact that they can do that. And they're trying to find a way to connect with you through their words, through their expressions, through their body language. So this is something you want to reward. And of course, you want them to feel proud of themselves for all the new things that they are able to do. So when this happens, it's cause for hugs and kisses and superlative comments. I probably say, way to go, Gracie, quite a few times a day. Whenever I hear him say something new, do something like bring me something, even if it's not something I need, you know, get on his bicycle. He's off and like looking back and smiling. And I just try to make things as positive as I can. Handling teething with your 23 month old. Your toddler's upper and lower second molars might be breaking through. This might be causing some discomfort or some drooling. You can try a cold washcloth. You can try chewable toys that help teething that you put in the freezer, whatever you can do to try to help your toddler deal with this discomfort. When it comes to oral hygiene, I do try to brush Bracey's teeth after every meal. This also is a very tricky thing because obviously you want to get to the front of the teeth, you want to get to the back of the teeth, you want to get to the tooth surface, you want to keep sugar and starches off of your toddler's teeth. But toddlers don't really like this and they don't often want to open up. The thing that's worked the best for me is to give my toddler one toothbrush and have another one myself. So we're both kind of in there going around and I just try to do it as much as I can. Having a toothpaste flavor that they like is of course also very helpful. Separation anxiety. This is a really, really common thing. I noticed a lot of this with Bracey over the past month. He was pretty clingy. We were on a vacation. It was mommy, mommy, mommy. He often didn't want to go into other people's arms. I think this is kind of a tricky thing. On the one hand, you want to respond to your toddler's emotional needs and not ignore them and you want to acknowledge them. But on the other hand, I've never been a big believer of allowing the child to think that they really call the shots because I think that that can lead to very weird power dynamics. And this is kind of worked out with my older children. So what I do with Bracey is, you know, if we're just sort of hanging out and going somewhere, and he's like, mommy, 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 often I'll like pick him up and just carry him. Fine. But if I really need to go somewhere and it's time and I have to go to work, or I have to go to the store, I have to go take care of my parents or whatever I'm doing, I'm like, Bracey, mommy has to go. Mommy will be back soon. I will see you when you get back from your nap. I just try to be clear. I try to be direct. I hand the baby off and I go and I don't change my plans or change my life to suit him because I think that that teaches a toddler that when they fuss, that you're just gonna respond and change everything around for them, which I think is a very bad incentive. And the second thing I've noticed, because I listen for this sometimes, because I like to walk down the stairs in my apartment building, is that as soon as I close that door, 
he's fine. So a lot of the separation anxiety, I don't want to say it's fake, but it can be a bit of an act that the child does in front of their mom or their dad or whoever they prefer. But once that person's out of the picture, they adjust and they're fine. One other thing, I've always believed that the more people that come into your child's life, the more friends, the more family members, the more neighbors, the better. This enriches their life. It's good for them to have relationships with a wide range of people, not with you. I think it makes them more emotionally healthy. So I think it is good at times to leave your child. I don't think staying with your child 24 seven is necessarily good for them. Try to get them used to also being and getting to know other people. What should my 23 month old be doing? Okay, physically, your child should be able to walk forwards, walk backwards, run, like run while holding a ball. They should be able to get themselves moving forward on a toy, like a bike, maybe with their feet, maybe they're not pedaling yet, but they should be able to scoot around on their feet. They should be able to scoot around on a scooter. They should be getting better at going upstairs and at going downstairs. All those everyday activities, try to do them as much as you can every day. Here are some recommended physical activities when it comes to a 23 month old toddler. Climb on and off the sofa. Crawling, even though your toddler might now be walking, crawling is great for their arms, it's great for their abs, it's great for their leg strength. Try what are called wobble activities. Having your toddler walk or even run on uneven surfaces. You don't want them to be sharp or to cause, you know, a risk of your toddler falling and hurting themselves, but it could be on pillows, on comforters. This kind of thing is said to be really good for your toddler's balance. Kicking and throwing balls is excellent. Try to have your toddler pedal on a bike or use their legs to push themselves forward on a bike. Have your toddler crouch down and get toys and then walk with them, like crouch down, get a ball, and then walk with the ball or run with the ball. Have your toddler climb up and then slide down the slide. Have your toddler climb the jungle gym. And have your toddler play with sand. This is great for both their gross and their fine motor skills because when they fill buckets with sand and carry them around, that's more of a gross motor skill. Intellectual activities for a 23 month old toddler. What should your toddler be doing? They should be using their hands as much as possible. You should try to incorporate language as much as possible. Hopefully they're getting more adept with the same toys and games that they've had for a while, but they're able to more readily put puzzle pieces where they go, no, sort no, others, that's right, that's sort right. shapes, build blocks. Those different skills should be something that your toddler is getting better and better at. Here's a quick list of intellectual activities recommended for a 23 month old toddler. Messy drawings such as pencils, crayons, and markers. Building blocks such as wooden blocks, magnet tiles, stacking blocks, the smaller the better. Puzzles such as wooden puzzles with animals, colors, and figures. Painting with sponges. You can also hold sponges with tongs. Shape and color sorters. Books. Read and try to allow your child on his or her own to leaf through the book and start trying to explain letters to your child. Hide and seek with objects like describing where they're hidden. Singing nursery rhymes such as ABC, Wheels on the Bus, and London Bridges. What should my 23 month old be eating? Keep introducing a wide variety of fresh foods in the following categories. Fresh fruits, fresh vegetables. Then you want to have proteins such as meats, lentils, tofu, eggs, and other forms of protein. You want to have milk products such as different forms of yogurt, of cheese, of milk to make sure your baby's getting enough vitamin D. And finally, you want to have whole grains. Try not to give white flour. Try not to give white rice. Try not to give white bread. Give whole grains. They're healthier for your baby. And try to give fresh bread if possible. How much sleep does a 23 month old need? Most experts say 12.5 hours over a 24 hour period. This can vary a bit. A lot of babies sleep between 11 and 12 hours at night and then take naps of between 1.5 and three hours. So the range could be around between 11 to 14 hours, but a lot of experts say 12.5. In terms of a schedule for your 23 month old, here's what a typical day might look like. Feel free to adjust the time based on when your toddler wakes up. The idea here is at least two snacks, healthy meals at regular intervals to make sure your baby's getting enough nutrition and their energy levels stay high. And you want to opt for one really good nap in the middle of the day. Try to have your baby be awake by 3 p.m. 7 a.m. Wake up. You have breakfast or if you're still breastfeeding give some breast milk and then give breakfast and then or give a milk or milk substitute after the breakfast 
10 a.m. you want to have a snack, 12 p.m. you want to have a feed and lunch, then your baby can nap from 1 to 3. At 3 p.m. breastfeed your baby or give a healthy snack and then a milk product or its equivalent. 6 p.m. dinner, 7.30 p.m. try to have a final milk feeding and by 8 p.m. bedtime. Your bedtime might get pushed back to around 9, which is fine if your baby can sleep later the next day. That might work better for your household as long as your baby and you are getting enough rest. Growth and development. How much does an average 23-month-old weigh? The average weight for a 23-month-old is 26.3 pounds for boys, which is 11.9 kilos, and 25.9 pounds for girls, which is 11.7 kilos. How tall is the average 23-month-old? The average height of a 23-month-old is 33.7 inches for girls, which is 85.6 centimeters, and 34.2 inches for boys, which is 86.9 centimeters. That said, as long as your toddler is maintaining a steady rate of growth, your doctor, in all likelihood, will be very pleased. The Bracy update at his 23-month appointment, Bracy weighed 11.450 kilos. Bracy held steady on the Spanish growth charts for weight, height, and head circumference, which was wonderful to see. Bracy greatly enjoyed the month of August. He had a huge adventure because he visited Dakar, Senegal with his family. He enjoyed playing soccer with some friends that he met there. He enjoyed a community lunch which involved a big quantity of rice out of a shared bowl and eating out at a restaurant, sampling the local cuisine and having fun with his older siblings. He made a new friend who taught him how to play doctor. And he observed a Senegalese village up close, although he was jealous not to be able to partake of the pony ride with his older siblings. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you back next month for month 24.